Hey everyone, welcome to Threshold. Today we're going to do the Steven Gifathon. Uh, I'm just going to make some faces that you guys can turn into gifts. Uh, let's get started. All right. All right, here's another one. <laughs> Uh, here, here's one for like. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, here's a good one. <laughs> All right. So feel free to share those. Um, I, I hereby declare that anyone can use those faces. Threshold. Let's go around and meet the players. All right. We're starting with me again. I like this. It feels right. <laughs> um, I'm Kevin. I'm playing Vel, elf wizard. You know um, what we're going to do? Huh. We're going to go every other one and, yes. and go to the middle. Okay. okay. <laughs> Perfect. I'm breaking all the rules. Mixing been, it up. Spending too much time with yeah. Zhao. That's good because Vel has recently become somewhat fascinated with chaos. So I don't like this pattern thing. Anyway. Sorry. Hi, Vel, wizard. Um, next. Next. <laughs> I guess that's me. Uh, hi, my on. name is Pamela, and I'm playing Christine Nostromo, a human fighter. And, um, yeah, recently uh, having really bad dice rolls, so we'll see how this goes. We have a lot of dice for her to roll. And let's go through all the... Yeah, this dice. one also is I awesome. swear to God, you guys better have done a ton of thumbs up on our YouTube video. <laughs> Or else. <laughs> yeah, or else. <laughs> I'm Casey. I play Clarion Jones. Uh, fancy loot and such. And that's about it. Next. Uh, I'm Brian. <laughs> I am Jamie something. I am a uh, half-elf warlock. No, I'm not. Rogue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was my reflex. Um, but soon. Soon. <laughs> And I'm Josh. I play Rasper Hawkborn, Shovel Man, who is abusing the bliss. Get that, get that bliss on. Get that be uh, on. He's a bliss fiend. <laughs> All right. Um, it's the aftermath of the battle. Um, the you have uh, stemmed the the tide of Fey uh, leaking out of their plane and into ours. Um, okay. So. Uh, we're at the top here. I believe Jamie and Rasper and Vel are on top of one of the towers. Was where we left yes, off. Yes, next to you. Rasper having just climbed to the top and dispatched Morish Graybar like, like a pinata. A pinata. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Um, I'm Vel start. is going. Oh, okay. Um, Vel is going to as soon as it, Morish has sort of drifted out of sight. <laughs> Uh, look back down at Rasper, see his face, maybe see a little, got a little. Is that a little chocolate? Oh, are you, are you <laughs> role playing? No, or? no. We're no, no. <laughs> all drinking bliss. hot chocolate. Yeah. yeah. All right. Also, also bliss. <laughs> oh, a little bliss. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, and Bell's going to, uh, he's going to quickly stride over to Rasper and kind of uncharacteristically like. <laughs> uh, Bell is 6'4". Yeah. Which I believe yeah. is even taller than Rasper. He's taller, right? He is. He's about half of Rasper's weight, though. <laughs> uh, but Vel is actually able to pick Rasper up by... <laughs> uh, up so his feet are off the ground for a moment. Whoa, all right. Go Vel. <laughs> um, Slave labor? Bliss? Rasper, we need to talk. Rasper's got a big smile on his face. He says, that was a good battle. Oh, your clothes are so soft and shiny. <laughs> Everything's just so pretty. I'm gonna drop him and push him down he and start heading down the sh tower and go, Christine! She's like still trying to recover from the, I guess, voices in her head. Um, uh, cleaning off her swords. He can't be trusted. Okay, he can't be trusted. Okay. Just calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. He can't be trusted. Just, Christine, are you out here? Yeah, I'm, I'm right here. You just you just have to talk to him and We need to talk about Rasper. Yes we do. Yes we do. He can't be trusted. 
I can't imagine why I ever did that. Why I ever he, made him in charge of the police force in Maryton. Oh, okay, let's see. The, 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 slow down. Oop, oop. Okay, pupils. Somewhat. Dire. All right, you've been magic up pretty bad here. Today in the history, uh, <laughs> Vel just told someone to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have interrupted that scene, but I just had to point out. <laughs> Okay, settle. settle. Oh, Rasper's a bliss fiend. What? I, he, he, I knew it. He pulled I out. Knew, I knew he couldn't be trusted. Okay, okay. I, um, okay. I think everybody's so, overreacting. <laughs> I love that you move your miniature like it goes somewhere. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, between you two. Hey, hey let's calm down. Uh, at the sight of, of Rasper being all cranked out, uh, <laughs> Christine is like having a paradox of, of self or whatever, and then Vel being Vel. Uh, I'm a, Jamie's gonna go. Am, am I the only sane one in this party? Am I? Yup. I figured you're the so. only sane one in the party. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, that, that's that's the voice in your head. <laughs> as as Rasper gives you a big sweaty hug. Uh, Jamie, you're so squishable. Uh, <laughs> They're just like, oh my friend. All right. Christine, settle down. I think. Now you spent some time with Rasper. Right. Okay. Now think, think back. You know, center yourself. You're coming down off of what looks to be a pretty nasty enchantment here. That said, Rasper did somehow acquire and, and willfully use Bliss, which is a serious problem for me. Um, and he's also been. I mean, I know he didn't. Did he tell you about where he got his shovel from? No. He hasn't told me. No, he didn't. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm. Well, you're both here. Um, just by chance, he, he happened to take me and Jamie along, and it's there's a there's a knottish weaponsmith chained in the bottom of it. Yeah. You what? <laughs> Do I hear this? Or are you guys downstairs? <laughs> uh, you probably uh, hear where that. are you? All I hear He's is the, the you what. <laughs> no, I'm yeah, still I'm still on the roof. I'm pretty sure that was audible in, yeah. throughout the entire fortress. I'm pretty sure people in Easterton heard. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Easter looks up at bliss, bliss spiked wine on his lips. <laughs> Rasper, get down here! I I help Rasper in his. Yeah, sword. we're going along. He's stroking the walls. He's like, oh, it's all. <laughs> it's a stone wall. Yeah, stone wall, Rasper. Right? Bliss is a powerful drug. He's like, ooh, stone. Bliss is a hell of a drug. Bliss is a hell of a drug. <laughs> um, and he gets on down. Great. I'm gonna put my sword away. I'm gonna put my shield to my back, and I'm just gonna <laughs> slap him across the face. What the hell? Oh, Rasper, ow! Oh. <laughs> you <laughs> slavery? Really? Wait, wait. What is really? that? Really? Your shovel, Rasper. Oh, you told them. <laughs> yes, I told you I was going to probably. Ruined my day. <laughs> He's cracking up. He's like, it's like the. The latter stages, stages of, of bliss, where you become like ultimately fork before you crash completely. Um, what? What? Your what? shovel, Rasper. Tell me, where did you get your shovel? Who oh. made it for you? Uh, um, a, a a man. A uh -huh. man. Uh huh. And and where was this man? He was in a tavern, right? Really, a tavern? Rasper, yes. Rasper, start being straight, or I'm going to levitate you out of this fortress like Morish just did. <laughs> what? Dying? Why? Maybe we should give him a minute. Yeah, this is not gonna. This is not working out how we want it to work out. So you met him in a tavern? Wait, wait, what? Oh, or the did shovel. he make your shovel, shovel in a tavern? Because that okay. is impossible. Because there's no forge in um. a tavern. <laughs> The, the shovel, um, I, uh, I, I wasn't going to tell you, but um, uh, it, it could be a fun story, I, I guess. Um, really, tell me how this is fun. Uh, Please, uh, enlighten me, Rasper. He starts, how is this fun? He starts to giggle. <laughs> uh, 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 the, uh, the shovel, shovel. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, okay, uh, uh, the, day, the day you were all touring the city, um, mm -hmm. I walked off and wanted to, I wanted to see, I wanted to see what the Nottish underground was all about. Oh, um, okay. After some time I learned that Nottish steel does in fact exist. 
Um, but yes, because you had a long sword made out of it, and I have a long sword made out of it. That's right. Um, the long sword was forged into the shovel. Uh huh. But. So Bye. someone someone still exists that can work with not a steel. Uh yes yes uh, uh these these two were with me in fact um they <laughs> uh, uh he's an old man. Uh, mm-hmm. Rasper, go take five. <laughs> he kind of he kind of stumbled back. Mm-hmm. And his don't... eyes like dilate, especially large. <laughs> go stare at a wall for a while. Uh, it's an old man who's chained up in the forge. We have to free him. He's, what he's, forge? He's clearly... The for, a there, forge it in the it basin. appeared to be some sort of criminal circle. I don't... That's, words. That's why, that's why I told you! That's why I brought you! Oh, Rasper's back. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you there so you could tell the others. Because I can't. I can't do it. Okay, he's not totally back yet. I can't. What? Can't do what, Rasper? I'm gonna pull a handkerchief out of my pocket <laughs> and float in front of Rasper's face. <laughs> it's like it's like a combination of like ultimate bliss and fear at the same time. It's like <gasps> <laughs> I put my to infer this means that Rasper is some under some sort of deal or or threat. Um, if he told the location of this place, luckily he brought us there, so now we can go there ourselves and break up this ring. No! No! Right. It can't be us! What? It can't! They'll kill us all! Who? You don't, you don't understand. You don't understand the... The Black Arrow Syndicate. They were nothing. They were nothing. They're... They're mere centuries old. We're dealing with a family much more powerful. They... We we deal with them, but they they operate in. Rasper, understand. I'm sure this is very impressive to you, but I'm planning on living multiple centuries myself here, so I'm I'm less impressed by that. Um, that said, we have to do something. We can't just leave what could be one of the world's greatest living artisans in a basement making. Sp- Making weapons for criminals. Is that, is that our job, though? Yes. He gets really existential. <laughs> uh, Chris, you worked for Christine, and she we, said yes, so it's your job. Were we <laughs> to do this? No, no, no. Wait. Rasper, you're he, doing this. He starts to, like, he's, he's really losing it at the end of this. Um, uh, Rasper, I need you to do this for me. I can't trust you if you don't do this. You can't trust me? No, I can't. You have lied to me, you, you, you slavery. I don't know if I can do this with you anymore. I don't know if I can trust you. I don't know if you can be a, a part of Marrington, a part of my life anymore, okay? You need I, to do this for me. I... I... And his eyes start to like roll back in the head, and he just, ow, ow, and he collapses. He's out. All yeah. right. What did that say? Oh, <laughs> this is this is a great gift. Yeah, he was uh, uh, raising this, the these stakes. are the stakes, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Christine just raised them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought you were telling us to raise the stakes. Uh, no, 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 Christa- no, no, Christine just did it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I I thought you had written and the Oscar goes to oh. on it. <laughs> I couldn't see what it said, so that was what it was in my mind. This goes to Christine. <laughs> Could you imagine, <laughs> Christine to Marin for threshold? What? <laughs> what, is, what is this? Who snuck this into the ballot? Yeah. Look at us being accidentally topical. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Um, Rasper collapses, and after a couple moments, you guys collect yourselves and you get back to your rooms. The uh, Um, I'm gonna go through Rasper's bags while he's out and take the remaining vials of bliss off of them. Great. Yes. (laughs) Vel's got him. Why? why I'll dispose of this. Yeah. Why are you keeping those, Vel? We should just dump them down the toilet. I'm going to dispose of it. 
Don't right. worry. If you dump <laughs> down a drain, it could still get into something. That's not the point. Yeah, and that would be terrible. I um, may have dumped it into a river at one point. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but, but I'm learning and growing as a as a person. Cut to the events at Pearl Shop. <laughs> um, um, well, I, we, I, I agree. However, we need to make sure because obviously there's a very there's a very there's an infrastructure here, a social infrastructure of the Nottish underworld. So uh, we need to go about this doing this right if we're going to. We can't just go in there guns blazing. Why? I ask as well, why? Uh, well. Yeah, why, Jamie? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Rasper. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's a matter. Uh, we're very, I mean, the Exaltus Populi can go in there. Like, we're very, we're very recognizable people, and I don't want people to come after us after we... Uh, humans don't seem to really know who I am anyway. But, and, and let them come. I don't... I'm not as, afraid of criminals. <laughs> this man's freedom is our highest priority. I'm saying that we do that. I'm saying we go about the right way of doing that. So what do you have in mind? How well guarded is this place? Uh, well, it's... it's no. not, I've... Uh, I was distracted the, by shiny steel. There were very, stuff. there are very a lot of people there, but it's like not so much an issue of being guarded as in it's very close quarters. There's not a whole lot of like escape plans. So like there's, so it's just like a hallway down to a room and that's it. So if we get trapped in there, we're dead meat. So I ask again, what do you propose? We can't change the structure of the room. That's not true. yet. You're not gonna. <laughs> I think mm-hmm. I, I think I think we need we need. I only know. They're probably not going to take them out. But we can lure them out. We can lure out the artisan. The the artisan is chained to the anvil, Jamie. But if we give them reason to release take, him, yes. How? Perhaps we set the place on fire. Then he might die. In the they're not going. Uh, they're not going to lose. They're not going to let their main source of profit die in a yes, fire. Yes, but he's like, what if they can't get the chain? The chains looked fairly permanent. What if they can't get him out and he does die? Perhaps we flood it with sleeping powder poison. <laughs> and then he could also die. I mean, he'll just fall asleep and we go in there uh, with masks on. Uh, and, <laughs> and, Sound and, logic. And, uh, and free him. I'm just, I'm just voicing my opinion. Right, no. It, it, Christine, you're the boss. Whatever you want to do. No, that is that is a very good, um, very good consideration. Um, it would probably take a lot of uh, sleeping powder to... Um, sleeping powder poison. Sleeping powder poison. <laughs> yes. Harder. <laughs> um, to uh, get everything in Yes. Um, <laughs> But it could work. It could, it could definitely work. I think we should try to get him back here, uh, being the same mm. place as Nod, um, where hopefully somebody here speaks Nodish and maybe he will be able to restore the peacekeepers. Mm. I, he might be able to. Yes, that's a possibility. If so, so first things we're going to get as much sleeping powder poison, or SPP as they call it. There <laughs> uh, as I can, so that maybe it's not maybe it's not a flood of the room because there's a tavern. There's a, there's patrons there, but at least some specific applications. Well, if it goes to acquiring poison here, I walk over and kick Rasper lightly. I know this one already got some of the stone poison from somewhere. I'm Why not... does he have stifles powder? It... Ask him when he wakes up. I'm, I'm not really comfortable with poisoning people, though. Is that just a sleeping powder? Can it just knock people out, or does it kill them? It just knocks them out. <laughs> <laughs> why is it called a poison? Because everything's a poison. <laughs> Sound logic. <laughs> I, I thought it was called that in a previous episode. <laughs> 
No, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it. The cannon's been fired. On. No, the cannon's been fired. I, I, I can't take yeah. backsies. <laughs> <laughs> I can't undo something that's been so fired. Can we, can we uh, wait, perhaps take a short or long rest? Until Let's take a... <laughs> I'm, sort of <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need... Can we, can we sleep tonight and then wake up in the morning? Because Rasper has not that many hit points. We do. Rasper looks like shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's got he needs to come, <laughs> he needs to, holes in his back. He needs to come down from this, Clary, and you should probably uh, have a look at And down. by now, he's he's like sweating bees. He's in like a, a horrid... Um, he's sweating bees? He's in a drug bees. fever? Oh. He, 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 like yeah, he's, he's like... It's like, yeah, exactly. It's like an extreme mm-hmm. fever kind of when you come down yeah. from Bliss. Mm-hmm. Especially if you're not, your body's not used to it. That's right. I forgot about the kickback on Bliss, too. Mm-hmm. There's a cost. Yeah. Cool. So, okay. So let's go to bed and and. You guys make your way back to the uh, break anyway. Wayward Pilgrim. Um, Alistair thanks you. Peace keeper. Yes. Right. Yeah. Um, how's, how's he looking? He's he's okay. I meant to roll to see if he died or not. But he's okay. I'll, I'll keep him alive. The fates forgot about him. No, no, no. I'll, oh. I'll keep him. I'll keep him alive. Oh. Uh, Nara, uh, Nara stepped in when Dika <laughs> might have, might have otherwise done something rash. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm oh. going to um, give him the directions to the temple, and I'm going to warn him uh, that, like, exactly where it is, because we made a map. Um, yes, we did. And I'm going to tell him the exact route and let him know that there are. Uh, cultists of Zythenia in there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Because they might run into him, and there's also gnolls in the basement. Just if you want to encounter them, go ahead. But it'd be best to avoid them. Says, uh, thank, thank you very much for uh, this information. Um, my hope is that I'm. Uh, if there's still one left running, then we might be able to copy it. Uh, it's not running per se, but it is in very uh, adequate condition. It's operating. Mm. You could probably and if, get it uh, again. And if you want me to try and wake up your dwarf lady, I'm pretty good at waking up things that have been out of commission for a few centuries. <laughs> Here's my card. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have cards. I just wish it was a playing card. <laughs> here's, here's my card. Here's my card. <laughs> the Jack of Diamonds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he thanks you guys for the map. And uh, you guys head back to the wayward peacemaker uh, with his little stick bundle on his back. Um, mm-hmm. And you guys get back. Uh, I think it's like late night now. Yeah. yeah, we should probably. I'm going to bed. I'm yeah. tired. You guys knock out. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, night, the night passes on eventually. Long rest. Long rest. Everyone yep. gets everything back. Heal. Vel goes out and plays with the street kids again. And then, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, Vel has his morning adventure. Yes. <laughs> I bought some cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Mostly just buying food and playing with kids and small animals. <laughs> uh, Rasper wakes up late. He's hungover. Yeah, oh, yes. Like, hungover from he's pretty hungover. I think uh, Rasper wakes up and everyone's already there, like sitting around him, like yeah, waiting exactly. for him to wake up. Uh, all right. So what happens? They, yeah. He wakes up and everyone's. Around and looking at him in the bed. Can I say that I, I used handkerchiefs to like tie him to like the bed clothes? Is he tied? No. <laughs> no, that's not the direction we want to go with this. Uh, wait. <laughs> we, we were talking. Fifty Shades ta- of Grey 2. No. <laughs> no. That is the name of this episode Fifty Shades of Grey 2. <laughs> um, They're not sexy handkerchiefs. <laughs> it's, still, it's still called Fifty Shades of Grey 2. Alright. He probably will not show up. Probably. He looks around. Probably not show up in this episode. What happened? <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, what happened? Oh, uh, you know. What was the last thing you bliss. remember? I I was fighting that that pickaxe guy, and he grew. He was like two stories tall. And then and then I drank some bliss. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. What happened? And he glances you... over to his bag. Yeah, um, where'd you get the bliss rasper? Uh, did you two what did I say? You get you dished it all, my friend. We know everything. Uh, yes, we do. That's not like me. Um, well, it's not like well, you didn't have bliss either. True. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, so then Christine knows. 
Yes, Everybody I do. Knows. I do know. Everyone I knows. Of course Everyone they do. knows. I know too, but I already did. <laughs> that's in Jamie's head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's the Butler Jeeves. <laughs> Jesus. From across the pond. That, sh- no, shut up, Jeeves. Oh, he says that bad. All right. <laughs> ask. Ask. You're going to ask, aren't you? We already have a plan. I don't know that there's much more to say, Rasper, other than... What did I are, tell you? Are you coming with us to go free this there's a master man weaponsmith? Up in the basement Ugh, the chained of up a tavern. Man. And you right. used him to make a shovel. I did use him. You know what? I will use everyone that I need to to stay alive. It's the heroes of the world that I bury. The ones who turn down... Turn down every advantage. Who don't stab men in the back. They're the ones who die early and quickly for their good morals. So all of this means nothing. It's not nothing. It's surviving. You've got to do what you can to survive. I trusted you! All right, all right, all right. Down. We're, we got levels. We got levels to worry about. Sorry. We're not a movie. We are an RPG show. <laughs> what did you trust me with? What do you think I was doing? Do you think... I was going to be good to, to tiptoe around laws. There are no laws here. There are slaves in the streets. We have to do as they do to survive. Are there slaves because in the streets? Because our street? enemies, yeah, there are slaves and not. Our enemies yeah. will. They will. They will take every advantage they have. And how much of an advantage would it be to have a master weaponsmith on indebted to us, then, Rasper? It's not indebted to us. I paid good coin for that sword. Yeah, well, if we rescue him, he will be. Sure. Sure, he will be. There's no honor among thieves. We could very well do that. If you want the Cavan... Carvane family. If you want the Carvane family after us. I don't know what that is. They'll kill us. They are ten times, no, more powerful than any others we've met. Than the, the Black Arrows... We've done minor dealings with them. Rasper, you can justify all you want, but the bottom line is we didn't ask you to whether what you thought... What, we didn't ask you whether you thought what you were doing the was difference morally is, acceptable. We asked you whether you were You're still a child, up. and you are a still a child, are you not? Rasper? I've lived on the streets for longer than you've been alive and longer than you've seen streets... The criminal streets. <laughs> well, this is happening, Rasper. You gotta do things. To continue my thought, I've... we didn't ask you whether you thought things were justified. We asked you whether you were coming with us. We we're already going. Oh, why? You want to die? Because that's what you're inviting. You're inviting death. It's better to die doing the right thing. I come back to the conversation. <laughs> it's better to die doing the right thing then live doing the wrong thing, Rasper. It's right or wrong. The, the ones who survive write history. Do you think that the Aerons displacing, displacing the natives, killing them, and then rewriting history? You think that's, that's any different? It, it's who lives who is right. Well, there, there, is, there may be right and wrong, but up until now, I've had to do things that I've regretted but I'm still around. You're still rationalizing, Rasper. Are you coming with us or not? Because we need to get going. Fine. I'll be your sword. I'll fight. But you don't need to tell that to me. Bell's going to get up and walk out of the room. I followed Bell. <laughs> oh. Now's your chance for redemption, Rasper. And I walk out. All right, cut to the... Uh, Boozy Gladiator. <laughs> That's right. Uh, what's the plan, Stans? You walk in. <laughs> uh, you, uh, <laughs> you walk in. The uh, the it's a it's pretty low pretty low stakes. There's not a lot of people in there. Bartender like looks at you guys kind of questioningly, uh, and he whistles a couple of notes in Thieves Cant. Um, I respond back in Thieves Cant. He he asks um, he asks you mm, what he can help you with. I mean, for a pickup. Um, he says, "What's the uh, 
What's the password? I. You guys know this. Oh, Brasper. I don't. <laughs> uh, but Brasper's sitting in the back. He's he's dragging his feet, so to speak, because he thinks this is exceptionally stupid. Jamie or, knows this too. Does Jamie know this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys should know it. I did it twice. Uh, does he offer me a drink? He asks what you want. Oh, I don't know. I know one of them. <laughs> I can't say anything because I'm not supposed to. I think uh, I have to. I, I want to look back at Rasper. Uh, In the pause, he reaches down behind the counter and he pulls out a crossbow. And he's leveling it at you guys right now. Alright, I'll pull out both of my crossbows. (laughs) 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 Bell's actually just using his I think Bell just has ash in both hands. (laughs) Yeah, he's he's got some ash down here and he's just using his fingers. (laughs) Yeah. He uh, whistles at you guys. Get like back out before there's any trouble. Like we're not looking for trouble. We're looking for justice. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. <I'm just> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> oh, goody, goody. There's been a lot of one-liners in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> that I think is one of my favorite moments in this. In the not just the threshold, but just in RPGs, is like <laughs> we're not looking. <laughs> we're not looking for trouble. We're looking for justice. <laughs> I've always wanted to do mixing stand up. All right, what do you guys got for me? Let's do it. Six. Twelve. Two. Seventeen. Oh, fifteen. Uh, Rasper was ready. Yeah. He's always ready. Yeah, uh, he. Uh, I'm sorry, absinthe. Jamie. What'd you have? Two. Ooh. It was elvish absinthe and some type of ale. Into mm-hmm. a broiler. Oh, he's some kind of broiler bomb. Yeah. 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 Would ale and uh, elvish absinthe? Would, would that would have worked? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Rasper walks up to the bar and says, "All right, all right." Well, I know we're we're no, we no, just, no, just no, oh we're okay. It's before things get just kick off. Oh. And uh, I thought Clarion fired shots. Oh, I, Did you actually pull the trigger? I pulled the yeah, trigger. Yeah, roll. Yeah, oh, no, roll. Yeah, roll. I meant when I said roll, I meant roll your shot. That's what oh, I thought. We roll. Yeah. Roll the uh, yeah, yeah, I think it was to be debated whether or not Clarion shot first. Uh, no, Clarion uh, shot first. Oh yeah. Oh okay. yeah. You said you're looking for justice and Clarion. Wow, oh, Clarion's yeah. Clarion's gotten violent these days. Well, this is what Clarion believes. This in. is for justice. Right. This is for this justice. Is for Clarion's justice. an idea. Eleven. Is, that's right. He is. Eleven and fifteen. Uh, they're both gonna hit. Perfect. Still a two. Seven total. Um, great. He there's two bolts in it. Is that just one hit or is that both? Hits? Hits, yeah. Okay. They both hit him, and he's gonna fire his crossbow at you. Um, ten. No. Uh, he fires wildly. I jump uh, to the side, and it goes through my duster. Uh, <laughs> embeds itself in the wall. Um, we're now at the top of the order. Rasper, you're up. This guy oh, has a couple of bolts in him. He looks really bad. Ugh. Um, what? Uh, uh, can we outline this? Uh, the, the um, sure. I, you know what? I'm just guessing that it's not just the barkeep in there. <laughs> you are probably right. <laughs> but what do I know of such things? All. <laughs> Honestly, I, is, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Is it kind oh, of? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I had I have an encounter plan, but we'll. Uh, but it's. Uh, so uh, is it like a criminal? Uh, it's a criminal establishment, but like, is it also like a bar that criminals can go to? Yeah, it's it, it. So it's a great party. It's a party bar for criminals, kind of. Yeah, but it's pretty it's slow, right? Early, now. yeah. yeah, we, yeah. Oh, the first day. thing in the morning. Why are we going to the soil? It's crazy. So to to limit uh, patron casualties. There's a trap door. It makes sense to go here, which would be the least. Patrons are criminals. <laughs> oh, you're really far back. I thought we were like right at the bar. 
So. No, I'm pretty sure you guys kind of where Clarion is in the doorway. Yeah. Oh. Kind of a safe space. Um, this guy can be the, uh, the dude. Uh, that's Gregory. Oh, can't be Gregory. <laughs> this guy's gonna be. I got him, Steven. The, okay. he yes, behind the, the zombie. He's behind the counter. Yeah. Oh, he's behind the counter. All right. Zombie goblin. Okay. <laughs> so Rasper's up. Yeah, Rasper's up. All right. Uh, is it just the barkeep then? In the whole tavern? Uh, yeah. Yeah, right now. Uh, there's there's a couple of people in the corner. There's a drunk in the corner who's like cowering. All right. Um, so he has one bolt in him. Two. 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 He has two bolts. He looks bad. I'm gonna stomp up, grab him by the bolts. Whoa. And <laughs> pull him closer and do an intimidate check. Great. Um, let me let me roll first and then I'll. Well, uh, then it just. Open that door or die now. Uh, what is it? It's charisma? 18, yeah, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. So get retribution in it. He's seen him like his face as he starts to die. He like moves down to the floor and he opens up the, uh, opens up the trap door. Great. Um, I drag him by the clothes, and we go on. As you start to go in, you uh, you see. I use him as a human shield. A guy come out. <laughs> um, he's a big dude. Um, you guys have seen him before. It's the Crusher. Oh, from Not the uh... Crusher. <laughs> Friend, the crusher. Oh, are we, we're still in combat. Yep. The I'm Crusher gonna, gets up. I'm gonna throw this poor barkeep onto the Crusher. <laughs> Just push him. As you do so, the crusher just takes his giant war hammer. It's just a stone, like attached to a stage. Just goes boom and just ends the bartender. And and the uh, then the crusher makes his way to the top uh, and stands at the front of the trap door. He's a huge hooking frame, but he looks pretty slow. He looks like a dumb. Well, he looks quick. I mean, like he can move. Hmm. Guy can move. He's tough and he's strong, but he's he's dumb. Dumb (laughs) <laughs> and um, you uh, you hear in sort of uh, broken nodish come from down down the thing like what you doing? Get up! Uh, the crusher is going to move to the top, and he's going to just like stand there with his warhammer at the ready. Clara. Hey, Crusher. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Friends. You gonna charm him? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, we'll save. Right? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, it nice uh, might be prison save. Either way, I have. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. I just all my Minnesota accent. Oh. oh, hey there. Oh, hey there. How you doing there, Crusher? <laughs> I like that Warhammer you have there. Uh, he <laughs> fails. Okay, so uh, it's either a six turn. or a five. Okay, perfect. Um, so if you take violent action against him, does he? Uh, to hide. It was a wisdom saving throw. Um, uh, if it, if it, no, no, the charm creature regards you as a friendly acquaintance when the spell ends. Right. Knows. He looks at you guys and he goes. In in Nottish, you're the ones from the tournament. And then you hear the the uh, the broken Nottish from the side say, "Go get them, buffoon!" And then there's a couple of swear words that you guys recognize as like, "You, you goddamn idiot!" In common, <laughs> some common swear words. Hmm. Uh, in a voice that is familiar. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> moving on down to Bell. <laughs> uh, Clarion, do you think he's about to smash mm. our faces? No, uh, oh. he's a good friend of mine now. I'm going to hold action and prepare to throw a firebolt at him if he makes an aggressive move towards us. Christine. For whatever reason, that was just what Bell said. It's like- I'm gonna hold action. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I'm. I'm also gonna hold. Great. Um, you see, from out of the stairwell, comes 
Jeez. Gray. I knew it. Of course. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, I had that plan the whole time. What? Yeah. Damn yeah. 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 So, so the sexy silk handkerchiefs was <laughs> a coincidence. A great coincidence. <laughs> if you if you doubt it, um, you no, can look here. On you can look here on my pe- paper where it says uh, episode twenty, the return of Gray Fletcher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what a happy coincidence! I know. Gray, Gray comes out, uh, and you can see that he has—he's wearing different clothes. He's wearing nautish clothes now, but he also has a slave collar, um, like around his neck permanently. And he goes, "Oh <laughs> yes, get him, Crush!" And he slaps <laughs> Crush on the back, and Crush like looks at him and starts saying in nautish, like, "But, but these guys are from the tournament. They're my friends." Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to fight them. At the same time, Rasper does a double take. What? You? And um, and then also has a moment of yes. <laughs> uh, Gar- Gray said. Uh, Gray's uh, has a smile on his face. Jamie, you're up. Oh, goody! Super. <laughs> this is great. Okay, the level one rogue is going to. <laughs> Would you say it's great? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I am going to. Where's the Gray's in the. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put, put Gray, put Gray, next, uh, uh, put Gray uh, next to. Put Gray next to. Oh, Jamie. Old Jamie. Yeah, um, yeah old Jamie. Uh, Jamie is going to. Just kind of move over here and hold, you know, just draw my bone bracelet <laughs> and withhold action uh, if Gray attacks anyone. Great. Um, Rasper, you're up at the top. Um, remind me which one is um, is the big brute guy? This is Crusher, this is Gray. Great. And wait, is this actually. He's the bar? like a little bit down yeah, the stairs. Yeah, that's the bar. Okay, They're it's a the little down the stairs. Um, is the Crusher blocking the stairs then? Yeah. You're gonna have to go past Crusher to get to Gray. Oh, that would be. I'll go past Crusher. <laughs> um, no, Crusher. That's all right. With the burst of speed, I run at Crusher and just topple him back down the stairs on top of Gray. Uh, Crusher, as you're running, as you're running towards him, he realizes he he mistakes the aggressive action <laughs> against Gray as an aggressive action against him. And he's gonna go, what? <laughs> and he's gonna swing his warhammer at you. Eight. No, sir. He oh, slings his war hammer. Rasper ducks under it, slides through his legs, and st- is standing in front of Gray. Can I tackle Gray? Uh, yeah. Um, are you gonna use your tavern tavern brawler? I'll do that. Yeah, I'll I'll go in for one big a sp- punch. Like a punch, but I'm I've got some speed, so it's a like clumsy. Great. Clumsy fury. And then you're gonna start a grapple. Punch. So 18. It's, it's probably going to hit if you roll an 18. 21. Yeah. 21. yeah. Yes, that hits. All right. You have plus 7 in any melee action unless you're using the great sword. Oh, okay, great. Um, or the my, shovel. Where's my d4? Oh, it's just a d4, that's right. Bam. 2 plus 4, 6 damage. And you punch Gray in the face. Oh! And I'll go for a grapple. Please choose to it. Oh, is it automatic? Um, no, no, it's a, so it's a strike it's a check. Yeah. You attempt yeah. the grapple. Yeah, attempt. Ooh. 17. No. Too low. Yeah. And you punch him in the face and you start to grapple him. Great. Uh, pushes you off of him and you guys are on the stairs kind of teetering there. Uh, the Crusher, now that you take, now that uh, you're between him and Gray, the Crusher is going to uh, turn around uh, and swing his war hammer at Rasper. Um, hammer time. 22? Oh, yeah. Um, great. That's the first one. Um, eight damage. Okay. Here's the next one. 23? Oh, yeah. Another one. Another eight. And 18? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll roll for this one. Um, 11. Crusher. As the crusher, crusher, crusher takes his... Boom, 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 and just like wails into Rasper's back. And he goes, Get away from Gray, puny human. 
Well, he's not a troll, yeah, Stephen. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I was like, isn't he, he a says, human? Get away from Gray. <laughs> Clarion, you're up. <laughs> he uh, looks like a troll, though. Right. It's an easy mistake uh, to make. Can, does Rasper get? Can we say, can I say he gets? He gets like thrown down the stairs, like slammed yeah. down the uh, stairs. I'm gonna go right. ahead and, as he takes a swing at Rasper, I'm gonna use my held action if that's okay. Or beautiful. Did, we didn't start the new round yet. Okay. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna be like, hey, over here, and I'm gonna lob a firebolt at his back. Uh, and I'm only going to roll, well, 13. Uh, no, not quite. Okay, um, so it's going to miss him and maybe light something on fire. Oops. The, uh, a bottle <laughs> behind him in the bar just <laughs> explodes. Um, we are... Um, uh, oh, Jamie has a rated action too, right? I had a rated action against Gray. Okay. Um, he, he's downstairs now, so... Gotcha. Um, that was Rasper's turn. Crusher, Clarion. Give me that. But... We're friends, Crusher. Dissonant <laughs> Worker. Whoa. Uh, we'll save. Five. <laughs> All right, you are taking 14 points of damage. Second damage. And uh, you also Holy flee shit. in terror for a round. Oh. Goodbye. How much Crusher. damage? 14. 14. This is... Vessel, uh, blood vessels in his eyes start popping. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, Crusher's really confused, and he, for a round, is just going, like, looking around. Whoa. <laughs> uh, Noise. Bell. All right. Um, and then after throwing the firebolt and missing, I go, ah, crap. And then, can I see Garay and Rasper down here, kind of? Or yeah. at least Okay. I think everyone's um, crowded around there by now. Right? Yeah. Um, no, you could you could move there and get the angle. Um, okay. You could move to the front of the bar and get the angle if you'd like. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of. Ah, eh, the crusher's already over there. I'm just going to throw another uh, firebolt at him. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna, gonna hit. Um, okay, cool. And then that one. Uh, we'll just do that one. Twenty two. Uh, three damage. It wasn't a very good one. <laughs> Oh, pressure just kind of brushes it off. Hmm, that usually works. Um, he's a big dude. <laughs> uh, Christine. Great, I'm going to um, I'm going to slide over the bar. Awesome. You run over, you slide over the bar, you're in front of the crusher. Great, I'm going to attack him. Let's attack. Um, 19? Yes. Um... 13 damage. Okay. Second attack. Um, 15 to hit. Uh, 15 hits. And 10 more damage. Oh. So I slide across the bar. Uh, I love these even numbers. I know. Um, so I slide across the bar, uh, land on the other side, and just go one, two into um, his shoulders. You uh, hack the crusher. Uh, He's, he's mad. Um, Garay is fighting Rasper. Garay is going to look to his side and <clears throat> pull out a long sword. Uh, and he is going to say, like, you thought you ended me, Rasper, but I've come back even stronger than before. And he's going to try to attack you uh, for 20, um, which is going to hit. He's I described this as one-handed, yeah. so he's doing it one-handed. Uh, for 10 damage. Okay. Um, and that's, um, that's his whole turn, but he's gonna, he makes another comment after he cuts you, uh, he just gets you in your shoulder and cuts into your armor. Does, um, is that the same, this is recognize it as the same, um, uh, like, uh, not anklet, but like, um, collar, collar that they put on him previously? Or yeah. Or is it a new one? No, it's the same one. Oh, great. Um, so, counter one-niner. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You say I already lost it. <laughs> you don't just get to say counter one. Counter liner. one liner. Ooh. <laughs> he, he said you thought you ended me, but I came back stronger than before. Oh, not strong enough to remove that collar. Oh snap! Oh. He's, he says this collar belongs to Persia Caravan, and she's in love with. I don't know who that is! <laughs> 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 
Jamie. Jamie. Uh, oh, he, he says, he says, you will when she kills you for this. Jamie, you're up. Just stop talking and kill each other. <laughs> uh, I don't. Uh, I'm gonna do some sort of stylish move maneuver over here, so that Christine's on my way. Ooh, so stylish. So stylish. Ooh, um, and mm, much style. And I'm going to shoot bone bracelet at Los Crochet. Los <laughs> Crochet. Uh. Yeah, I know. Well, I don't know. Ooh, natty one. Right. But I'm looking pretty bad. Um, natural one? Shoots backwards. <laughs> your, the bone starts to shoot out of your arm. And it gets <laughs> out. So it's like still sticking out, but then another bone grows right back. So I just have a bone to go You just have like an extra bone, yeah. <laughs> uh, Things so oh, gross. Oh I've gotten a lot got, of mileage man. on That's that. That's all I got. Thing. Rasper. Uh... They keep just parrying back, like they're parrying, hitting each other. Um, he goes in for a shovel attack. Shovel. Slices with that shovel Ooh. for a very low roll. <laughs> ten to the two plus ten. four, ten. No, yeah, ten. Uh, ten doesn't hit. But he keeps attacking. <laughs> Gray deflects. He's relentless. Oh. Uh, twenty-four. Twenty-four no. hits. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two still hits. <laughs> he he, do, he parries it. and He says, "You, oh, I thought that shovel was you." Anytime someone that's a shovel be crowded out of knot of steel, you know Rasper Hawkborn isn't far away. Well, you're the one that made it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Ten damage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you uh, describe no, you that. How do you hit him? Oh, oh, uh, no, wait. Eleven damage because I heard it. Yeah, eleven damage. Sorry. Um, oh. I just whap him across the chest and throws him back a few feet. <clears throat> As we're going back and forth. Um, Crusher uh, is there against oh, Christine. I'm gonna oh. use second wind. Sorry. Great. Um, go ahead. And just, can, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, while Rasper's catching his breath after Gray he takes a couple steps back, the Crusher is gonna turn to Christine and just start. Oh, he looks at Christine. And goes, "This is a Nodish, so perhaps only Vel understands." But he says, "Oh, you're the one. You're the bitch I was gonna fight in the tourney." I'm gonna have the pleasure of crushing you now. And he's gonna come down hard with a couple of hammer times. Christine, um, he said something not nice to you. Fourteen? <laughs> no. Seventeen? Yes. Uh, and natural one. So the um, seven damage uh, on that middle one, and then the last one. Um, tell me how he fucks up. Okay. Um. So the. Can I swear on threshold? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Only for <laughs> We've done it a yeah. lot. <laughs> okay, I, I, did, I never know. That's um, the reason I can't show my parents this because we do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say. Oh uh, my part, word! Part of our Brian audience. has such a potty mouth on his internet video. Just <laughs> <laughs> two my parents are 18th century English people. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag time travel. All right. Um, uh, okay. How uh, how does he screw up? So the first one, uh, he comes down and I sidestep. He brings it back up, clipping Ugh. me in the shoulder. And then the third one, he like gets off balance by the hammer. Uh, mm -hmm. He brings it too far back and he like gets off balance. Um, and so I'm going to use uh, repose, Great. Um, one of my maneuvers, to try to uh, attack him with that. Um, 16. 16 hits. Great. And. Um, 15 damage. Holy moly. Um, I'm going to wing it unless. That, Great, yeah, close enough. Yeah, don't worry um, too much about it. Mm -hmm. You uh, damage him and he falls backwards. Um, he falls backwards into Rasper. Oh. Oh. <laughs> And as he falls down the stairs, into Rasper, into Gray, everyone's knocked prone down in the forge room. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Gray is going to get up first, and he's going to take this opportunity to uh, try to just attack Rasper, who he's right by. He has advantage against you since you are prone. Um, and he's using two hands this time, uh, and he's just going to try to execute you. Uh, Try to chop at you. To say, I always hoped I'd get my revenge, but I never dreamed it would come so soon or be so sweet. Um, 21? Yep. 
11 damage. All right. <laughs> uh, digging into Rasper's armor. Uh, what kind of armor do you wear? Leather or? I got hide armor on. Still. Hide. So the, the hide is starting to get just cut Tired, to ribbons. Yeah. Um, Actually, that might be good. You have a hide ass, right? mm -hmm. Jamie's up. Jamie's up. All oh, right. Uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to take my belt off, uh, put it in my teeth, like bite it, <laughs> and then snap this bone <laughs> off. Oh. Oh. Ah, you snap the bone ah. off. Take one damage. Done. Ah. Did we skip me? Let's do Bell. I I'm sorry. I we just skip, like, the crusher we skip went, Clarion too? The crusher no. went and then Clarion and I didn't get to go. <laughs> did, oh, or did I let's do, that? do let's do Val. Did I do that wrong? Or? No, I don't think so. Because you're right. I don't think you've had a turn. Let's jump to Val. Maybe. Still. Oh, maybe I jumped down to Christine. Let's do Val. Because she were, she did an out of turn attack against yes, the I crusher. Did. Oh, that's what happened. I'm yeah, sorry, she used her a post. No, no, no. That's fine. Uh, it should be Clarion. Oh. Yeah. That's what I did. Thank you. Thank you for catching me. I got, I, yeah, I got excited with everyone falling down the stairs. Mm -hmm. And I was was, had assumed Christine just went. But she hadn't. It's Clarion. She was a right. She's a repostor. Um. Be inspired, Rasper. Do you have any inspiring words for Rasper? Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, um, Raspberry gets inspiration. Yep, and then I. Do you want to use these for your inspiration points? Ooh. Yeah, I've been thinking. There we go. Perfect. A prop we've never used. <laughs> um, and I also. What do I do? Family, the family, have you taken a hit? Uh, yes. Perfect. Then be healed. Perfect. With the Clarion. power of magic, Clarion touches you with a word of encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel better. And a power ballad. <laughs> and a power ballad. Down, 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 down. Now it's Bell's turn. I love this song. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, as he sees everybody topple, he's right on, right on Clarion's heels. Bell's going to kind of hop over here. And he's going to spot something on the shelf Ooh, behind the bar. And you go, ooh. And just, he's going to grab it and then continue his move down onto the staircase just until he has line of sight Okay. Of this mess down here. And then he's going to uncork what he got and pour like a sort of droopy molasses-like substance on the ground. And then as he hits, he's going to stick his hand in it. And like little lethargic waves are going to go out from it and they're going to go up and around. Uh, and I'm going to try and slow both Garou oh. and the pressure. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, what do they get? Uh, they have to take a whiz save. Okay, here is here's Crusher. Ooh, seventeen. Crusher That's passes. That's miraculous. Uh, Gray gets a four. Okay, so the Crusher somehow <laughs> the the waves don't quite grab him, but they all coalesce around Gray and kind of work their way up, and he seems to slow down as though. His timeline is moving slightly slower. Uh, he's going to have minus two to AC and dex saves. He doesn't get reactions anymore. And uh, he can either take an action or a bonus action, but he doesn't get uh, both in a turn. Oh, wow. Uh, only one attack per turn. Mmm. Yep. Okay. Um, and, yeah, the rest doesn't apply to him. So. All right. Um, Gray's not happy. No. Uh, now Christine gets her actual turn. Great, so uh, the Crusher is still prone, correct? Uh, yes. Or is he up? Okay. No, Crusher is prone. Great. He just rolled out of the way of Bell's molasses. Then I'm going to uh, run down the stairs and kind of link jump. Like, you know what? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, like how in um, Super Smash Brothers is down, yeah. down B attack? Yeah. Oh, sword plant. Oh, yeah. sword plant. Oh, I thought we were just doing a. What? <laughs> no, that's the next one. All right. Um, 19? 19 hits. Oh yeah, 19 hits Crusher. Uh, six damage. Um, okay, awesome. Okay, and then my second attack, uh, I'm gonna pull it out and swing it. Um, <laughs> 10, sorry, uh, 12, sorry. 12 misses. Okay. The Crusher uh, is able to, again, roll out of the way. Okay. Uh, now Garay attacks. Um, All right, it was, it was, uh, eh, whatever. Yeah. He, <laughs> Yeah, now that I, attack I that Garay just did happened, but it happens yes. a lot more slowly. 
would it would have been disadvantaged? No, he doesn't. Uh, uh, he doesn't have disadvantage to his attacks. He and now move. we're at Jamie. Now Who we're breaks again. the bone? Who breaks the bone? <laughs> yeah. Still not cool. <laughs> Put my pocket. Vel Vel could probably use it for something. Ew. probably use it. Uh, I'm gonna go oh, to every patron that's in the bar right now. Okay. I'm gonna stab him in the I got chest. confused. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got so confused for a second. No, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna usher them out the front door. Okay. And then I'm going to lock the front door. There was only like one other guy in there. Yeah, there right? like one or two the drunk in the corner. Yeah. He said he 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 starts saying things and no, she's like, oh, oh thank thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, but I nod, I usher him out the door and I lock the door. And I come back to the to the behind Clarion. Great, uh, Rasper. All right, uh, he takes the sword to the shoulder uh, from the ground, and uh, I see you're fighting dirty again. <laughs> I guess I'll give that a shot. And flips the shovel with his foot and kicks it up into his balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, from, from the ground. <laughs> oh oh no. no! I think that was too low. Oh, oh wait, um, it's eleven. He's got uh, minus two to his AC 11? right now. Too. I'm gonna. Is 11 yeah, hit? 11 no. I'm gonna get inspired like a crazy monster. Sweet! Oh, yes! Geez. Oh, dude. Your inspiration die is so big. I'm inspired yes. to hit this whole sack. Wait, wait, what did you get now? Uh, 17? 17, yeah. Okay, great. Alright, 3, oh. 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, plus 8. 8 damage for that guy. And I'm hitting extra hard with this one. I mean, so you do it twice. Nope, just one's twice as hard. <laughs> Not twenty. Not twenty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just like, in slow motion, Garid is like, oh <laughs> is his face no. As he starts to realize what's happening. <laughs> 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 Oh, um, good, another Steven gift. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, do I roll two? Or okay. do I do yeah, one? double. All right. All right. Nine and a six. Bless your damage. And do they each get a plus one modifier? No. No. No, that doesn't. No. All right, so six, seven, nine, ten. So ten plus thirteen. So twenty-three damage. Uh, oh, wait, plus, plus the one, right, for the shovel? So he did 24. 24, 24, 24 damage, yeah. holy crap. Plus the, plus the first attack, right? No, that was no, both sorry. attacks added together. That was both attacks added together. Well, well, 24 was just this attack, and then the first attack was... Yes. What else? Oh, okay. It was eight. Oh, that's right, yeah. So, so rather... Jeez. I don't know, I pictured it now, rather than like just a gentle tap, like Rasper jumps on the end. <laughs> it's like... It was enough to break concrete. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, so it was 24? Plus the, plus the 8. Plus the eight. Oh, oh, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine, like, his balls are the... like, coming out of his throat. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's so much. It's like flying oh. backwards <laughs> through the it air. It looks like a fight has been taken out of Garay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a lot more. His children are going <laughs> to... The Crusher uh, is going to roll up to his feet. Uh, uh, and... Uh, oh, wait, that was just my... That was all of your stuff. You said that was You're right. No, you're right. You use your move to get up and we'll move I agree. I was too drunk. Yeah. Um, the Crusher is going to attack uh, Christine again. Um, moving down there. Um, he's going to swing his uh, Warhammer to the side. 19? Yes. Uh, four damage. He's got two more. Nine misses. He swings over your head and ten. So he hits you with the first one. The second one, you duck out of the way. And the third one, you bring your shield up. <clears throat> and the hammer hits it. Uh, Clarion. Um, <laughs> is the dude in the forge right now? Like, yeah. Is he, is he, he's, he's in the... Oh, oh, yeah, I should have mentioned. He's in... He's, like, in the center, yeah. He's like over there, kind of in the. No, 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 closer to the center. He doesn't have that much movement. Oh, he's like right. chained up. Uh, no, he's in the corner because he has the ability to get all the way around the room. Yeah. Dude, there's a big chain stretching from him yeah. to the center of the room. How has he reacted to this so far? Uh, he, when you guys burst in there, like I guess at the start of this round, he kind of looked up and he slowly moved back to the corner and he was just like looking. Uh, Looking around to figure out what's going on, mm. he grabs a sword off the wall, and he holds it out in front of him. Mm. Um, now, Clarion. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna 
head downstairs and I'm gonna try and I don't know break the oh no I'm gonna check the bartender the bartender have any keys on him? The uh, yeah the bartender oh. had the had keys to the front keys to the trap door um, no keys to the shackles because they don't have a key that's right then then I move to the bottom of the stairs and that's probably searching the body and yeah okay uh, you have a key ring uh, Val all right um after I'm gonna get up, my hand is sticky from molasses, but you know, and then I'm gonna walk slowly down and see that, and kind of try to, in an opening as Christine bobs around the Crusher's attacks and stuff, I'm gonna throw another fire bolt at him. Uh, that twenty-one, is. yeah. Uh, whoa, uh, freaking sixteen damage. Woo! It's gonna catch him right in the face. He doesn't have eyebrows anymore, that's for sure. <laughs> he was bald, but now he's completely bald. Yeah. As his beard and eyebrows are totally singed up. Ha! Gotcha with that one. <laughs> he makes a face at you. Uh um, face Christine. back. Mm. Great. I'm going to um I'm gonna get out of the way of Bell's spell. So I'm going to, as I attack, move around him to kind of Move myself between him. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. Um, kind of also taking a defensive position. Uh, so if anybody tries to kill the man at the forge, I will be able to defend him as well. Okay. Um, first attack. Natural one. Yes. Okay. Um, go ahead and make your other ones, and then we'll figure out what happens. Um, 13. Uh, 13 misses. Great. Um, so as I start to move around, I slip in the... Um, Molasses, and uh, I lose my footing, and I'm knocked prone. Great. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> you fall uh, fall down to the ground. Uh, Crusher kind of like does the double take, but his attention is focused on Bell. Uh, Gray is looking terrible <laughs> as he uh, he just holds the sword out and he just drops it, and he is just gonna like. Uh, hope to not get killed, Jamie. Why is it like you? It's my turn every time. Like something crazy happens. Like I don't know what to do. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, I thought for your seconds, like why is it that every time there's my turn? Every like you're just time. expecting, like oh no combat. Why do I get turns? <laughs> anyway, all right. I'm going to. I only get turns when I don't have any spells. <laughs> I'm gonna go to uh, old guy. Okay. I think the crusher. The crusher has a he. Uh, the crusher's gonna use his reaction and just try to get you as you pass it. Sure. Oh, uh, woo! He's gonna actually get you. Ten. Oof. Oof. All right. So as I'm kind of trying to be all sneaky, like trying to bob and maneuver, he just and one of the flailing is up fighting Christine. He just like kick catches me in like the back of the back. Oh. Post the front of the back, but um, <laughs> and then and I kind of stumble. I'm hurt, but I'm still in the position of uh, um, an old guy, and I'm looking at the uh, the shackle, trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, uh, you can see that they're actually not a steel shackles um, that go in a big chain all the way to the center of the room, um, and he the um, for the the smith he kind of like points his sword at you and he kind of like pulls it back but he's not ready to let it down I, I you know do a little calming gesture he takes his sword back but he's not uh, he's not quite ready to drop it yet okay um, what's the ch- what are the chains connected to uh, the set the stone block in the center like into the floor in the center of the room they're sunk straight into the floor okay very good that's my turn okay uh, back up at the top of the rasper. Hey, big guy. Wow, wow, wow. Are you attacking him? Yes, I am. Uh, 16. Is that hit? 16 hits. And that, hit. that definitely hits. Uh, do you want one more d20 I can borrow? I'll do all three. I'm going to use my action surge as well. Okay. Ooh. 13. Uh, this eight? That's going to hit. Yeah, okay. Um, three hits. Give me some uh, d10s here. My D10s. Cool. Seven, 
Yeah, it's an 11, 12 damage on one. Uh, oh, you roll that for me? I don't know. No, 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 no. Right, 12, 12 for one. Roll, roll that one. <laughs> roll, roll that. 12 for 12 plus. Wow, that's a 10. 14, 15 plus. Three. Three. Eight. Uh, yeah, eight. 25? No, it's, it's 12 plus 14. Oh, so 26. 26 plus eight. Uh, 34. Damn, Rasper Prince. 34 damage! Bam, bam, oh bam. my god. Oh. I got I go one, two, three, and... Fighter damage is <sighs> catching up with magic damage now. Jeez. Well, until you get your next spell level. Mm, yeah. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Does the last hit take him down? No. Holy shit, this uh, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Yeah, I think this is all just one hit is what I got from Rasper. Rasper's okay. just trying to hit him in the head. Boom! Hits him in the head. And he's really mad. But the Crusher is still pissed about his eyebrows. <laughs> so he's going to turn and take a step. He's going to shift over to where Vel is. They were very carefully manicured eyebrows. <laughs> and he's going to swear at you at Nanash like, I have a persona! <laughs> and he's going to bring his hammer down at you. I'm going to, I'll just roll all these. All three against these my gimmick! <laughs> um, 15? Uh, I'm going to cast shield, so negative. Okay. Um, uh, he, his, uh, his other one is 20. That's definitely going to hit. So you bring your hand up as his hammer comes down. Yeah, go ahead and let me know what the damage I'm taking is. Um, nine. Nine, okay. So I'm gonna, yeah, like overhead shield to try and block it. First one's gonna bounce off and then he's gonna get more frustrated and bigger and like my legs are gonna kind of crumple under me as I'm not able to absorb all of the damage, all of the force from that. Are you, are you ah, prone or just? Uh, no, I'm just like gonna. Okay. Kind of like maybe one of my legs will pop a little bit. Ow! The crusher goes. Clear on. Um. Why is it always gonna be my turn? Uh, <laughs> I um. Threshold where the players don't like their turn. <laughs> <laughs> I the move, show at this point. <laughs> I move away from the crusher, probably provoking an attack of opportunity. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll take his reaction against okay. you. Or oh, did he already? No, he hasn't taken it for this round. Yeah, no, no, this round. Um, ten, no. Um, and I. Clear on decks. I point my my rapier at Garay. Garay's like, hey, hey, I know when I'm beat. That's too fast. What? That's too fast. Actually, actually, hold on. <laughs> actually, no, hold on. I actually need to do a concentration check because I lost oh. some. Uh, oh no, I keep the slow up. Okay. So, so his, his voice is up, would otherwise be very high right now, <laughs> but the time is lo is lowering back like, down, which sounds normal. Yeah, yeah, I, love it. Um, I know when enough's enough. Oh, he's still wincing from the pain. Uh, and you have a you have like a ready action, I assume, to stab him if he tries anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vel. All right. Um, I'm going to drop my concentration on slow, as I kind of buckle under the blow, and then I'm going to reach my hands. I don't have. Do I have pockets still? I don't know. I'm reaching my hands into something and throwing out handfuls of feathers in front of me, <laughs> and uh, casting gust of wind in the. Uh, face of the crusher he's going Great. to take a uh, strength save oops <laughs> 13 all right he narrowly loses mm -hmm. and uh so he's going to be pushed back 15 feet <laughs> in this convenient line towards the forge oh no <laughs> <laughs> yeah I did it last time i think rasper gets one too uh 18 oh. 18 hits really Great. Uh, 10 damage. Oh God. Woo. And then I'm going to use my disarming attack since I hit him. Okay. Uh, to try to disarm him as he. Okay. Um, 19. Uh, 19 hits. Uh, you need to make a strength check. Mm, I'm good at that. 15? Um. I've never done a strength check, so do I also roll a die? Yeah, you roll, you roll a die. It should, you, you should have a, mod. you should 19. have. 
You should have a save DC that's detailed in the yeah. section oh, where it describes uh, your abilities. Unless it's, uh, unless it's an opposing strength check. They 20, sorry, 22. Uh, he's, he's, they he'll don't. drop his hammer. Great, he also they takes don't. two more damage. Not for these. Uh, two? Yeah. Okay. He looks really bad, and um, he's going to also kind of like... I hit for... Oh, I was hitting. I was, I was 18 to hit for... Oh, yeah. Seven damage, and then do you can you use an extra attack on him? No, no, no. Wait, so seven don't, don't worry. That's about enough. It. Uh, between Rasper and Christine, uh, Rasper bong hits him in the head. Christine uh, disarms him of his hammer, and he just like uh, drops to his knees. He's not like unconscious, but he's like barely conscious. He's like in and out, he's teetering, and he's still, and his face is going because he's in a wind tunnel. <laughs> As the oxygen fans the flames and they <laughs> grow just a little bit higher in the forge. Um, I'll suspend combat. Uh, Gray is out. The, the crusher is incapacitated but teetering there. All barely conscious. Can I knock him out with my shield? Yeah. You knock him out. Great. Oh. Boom. Oof. The, the crusher. crusher. Oh, okay. Um, how do we get him free? Can I... Hey, look, I'm not the one who put him there. I'm just the one who oversees the operation. Well, as overseer of the operation, how do we free this man? He's not supposed to be free. You, can you cut his hands off. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to do a... Cut not a steel. I don't think so. I'm I going think to, not steel is the one thing that can. I'm going to look at the chains really good. I'm going to be like, I think he's going to have to smelt his own, himself out of this. It's going to take just, time. How much time? As how much do. time, I say in Nottish to the guy. <laughs> Uh, he, and holding up, indicating the chains. He he looks at you and he starts speaking in a, a language again. You don't, you don't know. No. Uh, I'll work on that, but for now. And um, wait. I, I try and like make a breaking motion with the chains and like. Uh, what is what are the chains attached to? The, the, the stone, stone and the floor. floor. Oh, okay. Stone and floor. Right, um, uh, I almost said Brian is going to. Uh, Jamie is going to. Uh, you know, kind of shrug his shoulders and kind of like they drop, and he just go walks over, grabs the crusher's hammer, mm -hmm. and just starts wailing on the stone thing in the center of the room. Okay, uh, give me a strength check. I moderate at those. Oh, moderate's good. Uh, Fifteen. All right, uh, you <clears throat> take a few hits, <clears throat> and you're able to bust enough of the stone out that the uh, the chain comes free. It's still attached to him, but he's yeah, just it's dragging it's chains around. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. That's actually kind of badass. <laughs> Gray is still there with his hands up. All right, we got what we need. We got to get out of here. What are we doing with him? Is there anything else about... Okay, there was a weapons rack. Of they're not a steel. they're gone. gone. Yeah, the only one is the one he's holding in his hand, right? Mm-hmm. Which is another long sword. Mm -hmm. No, it's a katana. <laughs> of course it is. I love it. <laughs> um, Rasper's going to start walking up the stairs and grabbing bottles of... Rasper! Uh, come on, we gotta go. What about Garay? Bring him. Yeah, what about Garay? Bring him. And uh, he's uh, he's cracking bottles off, and uh, he's starting to like tear pieces of his wrecked shirt and stuff them in. And he's burning this place to the ground. Let's go. All right, Vel yeah. approaches the weaponsmith and kind of does like a weird elvish bowy thing to him, a sign of respect. Mm -hmm. Probably just looks kind of weird. in your direction. Come on, Gray. Gray is like, whatever, let's um, go. And then Vel leans down and kind of gathers up the chains and hands them to him. Or, like, holds them out to him. He gathers them up in his hand and he takes... And then he so gestures he, towards the stairs. Very carefully, he starts moving up. He has, like like I said, like long white hair and a mm -hmm. white beard. Are you bringing him? Raster points down the stairs with the crusher. Because we're burning this place down. As he's dousing the bar with, uh, with Gray spirits. says, "I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Let's get out of here." He looks Come at, on. He looks I want at Christine. My parents to see this. <laughs> he looks at Christine. Well, how many people are left down here, by the way? Uh, just the cru uh, oh the, the crusher. Um, the artisan is walking up the stairs, and Vel is following closely behind him. Uh, I'm oh. gonna start dragging the crusher up. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, you guys drag the crusher up the stairs. The crusher weighs probably like 350 pounds. Uh, um, here, let me help. Uh, 
Worm jerky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm no. I'm making Chris. I'm making him smaller. Oh. Okay. oh. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna actually crush it. Crush the worm jerky the down. And he's gonna. He's gonna shrink down. He's like a little child. He's like a little chubby child now. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> Christine well, picks him up and yeah, shoulders him. <laughs> and then she like pats his back. And... <laughs> there. We're all getting out. We're getting out. Uh, uh, Rasper da- douses or start, lights the bar ablaze, and the drapes and things I assume are going up pretty quick, right? Uh huh. All right, this place is an inferno. Uh, and the boozy gladiator. We, we rush out the door. Barely knew you. Yeah, quick cross that off on the list. No more boozy gladiator. <laughs> Bars and taverns. Cards. <laughs> it explodes. Uh, oh. And. Uh, we should you, where where do you guys go? I think we're going to the mansion and not taking them back oh, to we, the way where. Did we take the, the bartender's dead? His body was. He's so dead. Oh, he was, yeah. He was super crushed. Um, yeah, he got crushed. Let's take the. Um, the take him to the mansion. To the mansion? You mean the Pentagon? No. No, no. The, the do we. Yangzi's house. I, uh, I hustle everyone kind of down the street and around the corner so at least we're out of the immediate area. Because immediately the yeah. yeah. crowd, yeah. you know, huge Absolutely. crowd is get grabbing around. They want to watch the fire. Yeah. yeah. They're watching it burn. So we're kind of out of the way. We're going back to Tox's house. Why? Because we're not taking these guys back to the tavern. A public tavern doesn't seem like a good idea. Let me remind you, these are the only two that know we're responsible. Uh, My personal was... vote is to kill them both. Uh, let's um, drop the crusher yeah. off somewhere safe. Oh, the crusher. Uh, no. He's just not. I, bo- I thought you meant both the the old man and. <laughs> or, no, no. and I, For a second, there's like, two, but then I forgot the exactly. crusher was there. <laughs> okay. He's I say kill him, and we're taking the ray. We'll put the crusher somewhere safe. And, we're leaving that alley uh, somewhere. Claron, you, um, uh, you go to the uh, mansion with whoever else wants to go, and. Um, Vel, you and I will um, take the smith to uh, the Pentagon for the peacekeepers. Okay. He'll be safe, Claire. Valerius. To the, to the smith. Uh, give me a give me a Christmas <laughs> check. <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> Good roll. All right. Um, he says. Ogzi. Ogzi. And that kind of gesture. <laughs> it's like he puts we're going. The, the sword in a in his belt. Hmm. What is he wearing? Out of curiosity. Uh, uh, like just a, a simple like tunic, kind of and tattered like, tunic, tattered tunic, tattered tunic, and tattered. Like it looks kind of like pajamas. Oh, <laughs> just okay. loose fitting clothes. Right, he's wearing a gi. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, it's he's not. Got a katana. He's, he already looks like Mr. Miyagi a little bit. He does, though. You're right. It's a. It's a. He's gi. wearing a it's tattered a gi. gi. They were just gonna be like cloth pajamas, but now, now it's. A... They're base gi are basically pajamas anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so we who's Where, walking back with who? Well, that's the only question is you and Jamie. Yeah. Oh, all right. Where I'll, are you two I'll, going? I'll follow. Uh, w- w- the. Uh... I've got Gray, and I'm going back to Youngsy's mansion. All right, I'm walking back with Gray. But uh, you know what, before we do, I turn to Christine and say, let's be clear, I don't want to. I don't want the world to burn, but I just don't want to be around when it does. All of this is wrapping us into a whole lot, boat, boatload of trouble. Well, that's why we're getting out of town. That's right, let's go. Uh, you guys head to the mansion. I shrug my shoulder and go, "What a day!" I'm so tempted to call it. A, I know what that a day. felt like, but <laughs> but I, I want to do just. Uh, let's, let's do some falling. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a little falling action so oh, we don't have to. Where's Jamie going? So don't yeah, have time get it. Jamie is going with uh, with Claire. Right. Mm-hmm. Great. Uh, so you guys go to the mansion. Um, what do we want to do first? Let's do peacekeepers first. Okay. Because okay. um, we're going to meet back up with them. Great. You guys um, uh, arrive at the peacekeepers. Uh, I'm looking for Alistair. Mm, the captain? He's on duty. I need to see him immediately. All right. Um, if you'll come with me, I'll take you to his office. Thank you. Take him to his office, and he's, uh, he's, he's there in his office. He says, uh, there's something I can help you with. Yes. Um, this 
Uh, this man was chained up in a forge uh, and forced to uh, create nodish weapons for uh, members this, of the underground. This man might be the last artisan alive capable of crafting nodish steel. He was captured by... Okay, the... and uh, why are you bringing him here to me? He be... might also know how to recreate peacekeepers. Has he told you as such? We no. don't speak his language, and I'm, I'm skeptical about that, but regardless, he's going to need some protection. Um, per, uh, he notices, he, he clocks the chains and he goes, uh, is, is he a runaway? No, I don't think so. I think he's been in captivity for slavery for a good portion of his life. I, I, uh, while I don't, uh, necessarily approve of the institution myself, slavery is legal here in the city of Nod. I'm, I'm afraid that I can't keep him here. It's, uh, not exactly in my... In, in my power to protect him, harboring a fugitive is against the law, and uh, I'll turn a blind eye because uh, I, I, I do understand what you guys are trying to do, but uh, the law is a law, and I am uh, sworn to uphold it. Right. Very sorry, my lady. I don't like it here, Christine. <laughs> Thank you, Alistair. I understand. Uh, I'll, uh, I, I'll forget that uh, any of this ever happened. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Um, Vel, would, um, would your lady friend be able to help? What? The um, nice red lady. Mm. Oh, I, like I, wouldn't, awful, I wouldn't want to bother her with, uh, <laughs> <laughs> with this. Uh, I don't know what else to do. I think maybe the safest place for him is to keep him with us. I would love a chance to, to try and learn his language a little bit. I just thought she might be able to know if she can speak his language. She is She's probably very old and very wise. Fair point. Maybe once things calm down a little bit, we can try that. But I don't feel like we should leave the city with Ocelax probably going to attack very soon again. Okay. Okay. All right, well, let's... um. Let's head to the mansion and... Good, yes, that's... You guys head to the mansion. Meanwhile, at the mansion, um, you guys arrive, and Gray's like, all right, all right, what is this? What do you know about Ozilaxis' uh, attacks? Uh, nothing except they're bad for business. Since everyone's in the city, there's all kinds of shipments that are being delayed. I'd, l I'd love that dirty orc dead. Oh, uh, he chokes him by the car. Oh! I want to hear about who you're working for. Like I said, I belong to Persia Caravane, my owner slash lover. He grins a dirty <laughs> smile. He says, what can I say? Gray has always been a charming individual. <laughs> uh, you know what? Raster just punches him in the face. Oh. And sucker punches him and chokes him back up. Oh. What? I said, who you were working for? Not why and what you're doing. Those hey, questions will come she, later. She's running the show here in town. And I'm just doing what she needs. You did a dirty thing, Rasper. I wouldn't have done something so low to you. I would have at least given you a death. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell it to your kids. Or not. He kind of <laughs> kicks them to the side. Oh, <laughs> And, uh, uh, and just... She's probably still a little tender. Uh, yeah. Think of it. <laughs> so you don't know anything oh. about what's going on in the parts? No. The cartel doesn't... Or the family or whatever doesn't know anything about... Ocelax? Yeah. No. Of course not. We wouldn't want to disrupt the good thing we got going. You should see this operation, Rasper. I know you've been out a long time, but you would appreciate its, uh, its succinctness. <coughs> Maybe it will. Tomorrow's going to be a long day for you, Gray. A long day. Uh, he's, he's done talking. He just kind of like rolls over. What do we want to do with him? Uh, where are we again? We're at the, uh, We're at the mansion. The, man the mansion. The, mansion. the ruins Personally, of this mansion. Yeah. Jamie's gonna walk up and he's gonna take out one of his daggers. 
So I'm going to push Rasper mm -hmm. and Clara on this side. He's going to take the dagger. He's going to put it right at Gray's heart. Mm -hmm. He's going to take off the mask. <laughs> And he's gonna, he's, gonna say, <laughs> he's gonna say, "Give me a reason not to." And he's gonna look at you and he goes, "I got nothing." I, I didn't decide what was high and what was low. Just rolled. Decide and roll. I didn't think so. I'm gonna put my mask back on. And then a headbutt him in the head. <laughs> oh, he goes out. Uh, we drag him and, and uh, we get we get some folks to get us some nice chains and he's good and tied up with uh, some. Yeah, you use the ruins of the, the ruins of the mansion. He's got a big take. bag over like a big sack over his head. <laughs> Great. He's good and shut. No. I, I assume I, I, Rasper takes off one of his socks. A ball, put up in a ball yeah. in his mouth. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, it's almost torture. Yeah, the the crusher just lies there. Uh, oh, he's not tiny anymore. Oh, Bell's, I thought Bell's we far dumped him in an alley. Yeah, we're oh, just, oh, we're you dumped him down. Okay. okay, somewhere. He can go wake up and do his own thing. It's true. He's probably not smart enough to know who you guys are. Yeah, probably not. He only got like. Where's friends three from the arena? <laughs> he's been hit a lot in the head. Yeah, he has. <laughs> no um, eyebrows either now. Val and Christine show up. Yeah. You still have the uh, the old man with you. Alistair wasn't helpful. Yes, because in the city of Nod, slavery is an accepted institution, even when they're chained up in a basement and forced to make weapons for criminals. Maybe we should have mentioned that to Alistair. You oh, guys wow. haven't been around slavery, have you? This is what I was telling you. Well, found out. Clara, did you find out anything? Uh, from Gray? <laughs> uh, uh, the family doesn't know anything about where Ocelax is going to attack next. What family? The people that Gray works for. Do we know what they do? They're the criminal organization in this area. Right, but what are they criminalizing? Well, they're using old men to... I mean, besides that, I don't know what they're I mean, are, are they shipping bliss? I imagine they. I like imagine what are, they, what do, are they doing? I imagine they do a whole gamut of things. We did, yeah, we didn't go into specifics before we knocked them out. We were determining whether or not we were going to kill them. As uh, much as I'm excited about taking down corrupt institutions, I'm very concerned about Ocelax's next attack. I agree. Um, so perhaps Gray. we better better put oh. Gray on the back burner. For yeah, now. Gray's Ooh. Gray's here. He's. Uh, Tied up, ain't going nowhere. Oh, man, I did not expect the gray thread to stick around. Uh, All right, I love it. <laughs> and all right, so this. then uh, you guys, I guess, will head to the aqueducts, which is your third. That's going to be our next. Your third objective here in this next. We're we'll put gray in the basement, though. In the wine cellar, yeah, yeah. Wine cellar. with no wine. No wine. Yep. A fate worse than death. Mm -hmm. uh, Why is all the rum gone? <laughs> because Rasper drank it all. <laughs> And yeah. looters stole the rest. Yeah. And then we're unlocked. Yeah. And also Rasper stole the rest. <laughs> uh, awesome. We'll call it there. Uh, questions, comments, concerns? Oh, boy. That was a, that was a heavy-ass episode. Um, uh, yeah. I, I want to thank the viewers for all of your uh, thumbs ups. <laughs> I really, I really appreciate it. Uh, so, yeah, I did a total. It was stuff. five to two pass fails on Pamela's attack rolls. Nice. Oh, wow. Wow. Just so those, I had some empirical those future, evidence. Yeah. Those future thumbs up really helped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Watch, we're going to have like 25 <laughs> thumbs, thumbs down. down. Yeah. Just, just to show us. And, and then that proves that Pamela's dice are run on. And then we'll just have to keep asking people to vote us down because it works for Pamela. Yeah. Um, did, uh, did the bliss stuff work out and the... Uh, Oh, the that Rasper. Well, I, I, I don't know. I had to remove myself from all the drama that was flying around because I did not want to be in the middle of yeah. what was going on. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Man. I was oh, no. That was. Rasper was. Oh, Rasper was, was it, it was good. It got a little heavy. Yeah. got a little yeah. heavy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rasper, Rasper was really resolute, too. I was expecting at least one of these appeals to hit home. <laughs> but yeah. he's a. Uh, you know what? Rasper is. He's got to ride the line. He's, he's too world weary. He, I, I, he knows that the. There's good and bad in the world, but it's it's a very it's a gray world. Uh. 
Uh, and then we just ended. Uh, I love that you guys are like, this episode's called Fifty Shades of Grey 2. <laughs> and it's it. like, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. It sure is. Yeah. That's Found his stats and everything. Wow. Wow. He's back. The that was the exact same Grey from the last time. So, so, he, he, so he was talk he was full of shit when he said he was stronger than before. <laughs> well, I mean, he certainly is in a better position. He's mm. he's much higher up in the like the well, syndicate. Yeah. Uh, okay. or his new syndicate is certainly more. And powerful. he's got an Oddish blade mm. as opposed to just a general. He blade. just had a regular blade. Oh, yeah. he's not fancy uh, enough for not Did that, did that uh, ball sack hit? Did that permanently? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that was one of the hardest hits I've ever. Roll done. for infertility. That was Roll like thirty-four. That thirty-four damage is a lot. Roll for I think you probably just you definitely did I, something. Did I, did I you, hit his bloodline? You probably <laughs> at least burst one of his testicles. Well, to, oh, to put that in perspective, if that hit me, I'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would have to start rolling for con checks. So but, would I. Uh, Oh yeah, I'd be, I would, I would go from top to bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, even Garay, like that, that was a more than half of his hit points. I'm interested to see how it's going to play out with his uh, master slash lover now that he doesn't have any. Oh, we didn't think of that. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm just thinking like, you know, what if we, you know, find her and tell her, oh, we found him running away, and <laughs> we, he told us who his master was. And don't don't tip your whole hand. Don't yeah. tip your whole hand. That sounds yeah. like a great plot twist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll bring that up when, I don't know, when the like, time comes. It was just never addressed. And I was like, mm. well, we should do that. So like see great. I don't know. Do I have to push episode 22? No, back no. Here? We will not push episode 22. <laughs> <laughs> did, uh, did it come across um, pretty well? Uh, like, Bell and uh, Rasper went back and forth about like justifying... Mm -hmm. Rasper's shit decisions, that kind of stuff. I think it was fine. I, I liked it, uh, like the playwright in me, like to, liked it as a as like a scene with like we got a bunch of different ideologies. Like, yeah. Uh, over the last actually two episodes, because we've seen a lot of like Vel and Jamie like chaos a little bit more, and Christine right. is like I hate chaos, mm -hmm. I guess, and um... Clarion like is an idealist about very particular things and <laughs> Rasper is the opposite of an idealist. Well, I feel it was, it was very, it felt like four on one against Rasper, but, uh, but everyone sh I mean, maybe we're Jamie, Jamie, Jamie was, um, from but, uh, Rasper wasn't acting out of character. No, I guess yeah, I was, I was trying to appeal to maybe evoking a, a character change in, in Rasper to a certain well, point, you know, like that's to convince. That's what I felt more yeah. than anything is maybe, it, it's hard to place Vel, but Christine, I feel, was more disappointed than anything. Like, as if Rasper was... She, she wants to change Rasper. Is there, was there some... She feels betrayed. Yeah. She feels like her entire, like, everything... Like, I mean, she did she, know, she yeah. built she did, you, you doesn't she, matter. She did it trust you to, like, yeah. maintain the law in her land. And now... Yeah, and this trust is now broken. And you walked her down the aisle, for God's sake. Yeah. Right. But Man, maybe, what a mistake that was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> Should have gotten the procure. Does she uh <laughs> kinda of did anyway? Yeah. Does she feel like that um Well you can tell uh, I, I don't know, maybe it, maybe that was hard to place. No, I um it, it it was sort of like ants. Um it was sort of like um oh no, I feel bad. <laughs> I killed it. Oh. Uh, I, I I I do understand like cause I mean Rasper has he's like fifty three. Yeah. Like he's an he's an older He's an older dude, and like, and I think it's could be his kid. yeah. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. She, she, just, she sees I guess him as I a just, father figure. Christine right? could be his granddaughter. Yeah, yeah I guess just all of my yeah, appeals were like. Yeah. I guess I wanted to find something softer in Rasper that would be like, even if he didn't personally do this, he would do this for Christine or yeah. something like that. And I think in the end, he kind of did. But yeah. The reason why he's, he's uh, go ahead. it is because he understands the real danger, like. It could be doing this thing for his kid and then it killing all of us. Yeah, I think I think that is Rasper is kind of in a different world, and uh, he he knows you guys don't necessarily know what like the retribution yeah. is uh, like Rasper does. True. Like you, uh, I think this place probably wasn't as guarded, but now of course. Obviously, it was kind of guarded, but they just didn't count on the crusher being taken out by. And you guys are heroes. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I, yeah, that was, that was sort of the yeah. awkward place I was in where, like, it's like, well, if Rasper wins this argument, then we just don't do anything. 
So oh, it's like yeah. we, we have to come out doing something at the end of this. Yeah. Right. Um, so there was also a little bit of that, too, that was sort of like Rasper had some points, but I was just like, eh, I can't. Well, what I really liked was that you're like, we're doing this whether you come or not. Uh, yeah. So are you going to yeah, come was, or not? That was, I think that was, that was, was the biggest that was thing. Amazing. Like that you was, were trying to convince him no. to come. You're like, we're doing this. You can either come or you can't. Uh, like, yeah, great. That gave me a thread because, like, I, I obviously want to, like, get, keep the plot moving. Right. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Um, and that's that's sort of, that was my attempt to, I right. felt like we were starting to spin our wheels a little bit, yeah, just going back bit. and forth. Yeah, no, ideology, that's a good way so. to do it. I think this was a great, uh, a great textbook example of, like, opposing party ideals. Mm-hmm. But you guys have enough history now as a party yeah. being through, you know, yeah, we were 20, never... 20 sessions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you've been through, like, probably close to 30 hours of, of gameplay as these characters. And um, so, Rasper, obviously there's a difference in, in party, but you guys have the history where you can like kind of work through it. You, you as characters know how to push each other's buttons. Yeah. And um, it, it's very interesting because a lot of the time you do hear that is a big problem with party conflicts, especially when there's a more chaotic neutral person. But the rest of the people are trying to be like good and law abiding. Uh, and that is always the question of how do you handle the anti-hero with a bunch of heroes? And, I mean, eventually it is meta-narratively mm-hmm. the anti-hero eventually turns. Um, and so while Rasper maybe didn't, didn't this time figure out, the, didn't, you know, heel turn, heel turn face, sure. there's always the option later to then set it up to where Rasper does... It's better if it's nice and gradual anyway. Uh-huh. Or, you know, he may never... Turn. And that's fine too because that's a character choice. Yeah. Right. And like that's something that, you know, mm-hmm. Josh and Rocks have to struggle with and deal with. Right. Whether it's you know, can you teach dog mm-hmm. tricks or Yeah. 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 And I, I do like there's also an age thing going on. Yeah. Because you guys yeah. tend to be able you guys are like everyone is a little younger except for Rasper who's a bit older. Jamie's like Oh, but he's a half elf, yeah. but you yeah, know, yeah, so like, you'd I'm be like in like yeah. six, forty or like yeah, you were like in your forties, I thought, but but half elf in years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So that's like what twenties. Oh, yeah. So Jamie, Jamie has some news, but you feel like Jamie is maybe kind of in between everyone and Rasper yeah. in some ways. Yeah. Like yeah, I'm, I, I thought I, we were Claire out actually. I thought Claire was in his thirties. Yeah, I'm in my thirties. That's right. I'm oh, okay. Well. So you two are kind of in the middle. I yeah. spent years. I really liked your comment about how like you made a comment about the experience, like you know, longer than you'd seen, like longer than uh-huh. you knew what streets were to Val, yeah. and I was like, huh. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we all sat maybe. there for a moment. Was like, oh, I wasn't entirely Vel. sure, but I was guessing at least the uh, streets. Vel's, like, Vel's early years were pretty sheltered, if you couldn't tell. Yeah. Like, uh, he doesn't have a lot of worldly experience. Lots of great one-liners yeah. uh, tonight. Oh, yeah. But I think oh, yeah. still my, one of my favorite moments uh, is we didn't come here for trouble. We're, like, oh, yeah. we're not looking for trouble, we're looking for justice. We're looking for justice. <laughs> <laughs> I've always like I love that because that was a like that was a Mexican stand that didn't yeah. feel orchestrated. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It was just kind of like because it was like should like do we know the password and it was like we don't. And it's like yeah. all right, well we're doing this now. Yeah. That was so great. That was really. That great. was a great way of, of like an example of how something that we didn't know like using it to make a better moment mm-hmm. like coming out of the. Than, I could have beat myself up about you know not not knowing what the password was, but I no, it was, yeah, it was better because like Jamie just didn't freaking remember what yeah. the password I like was. We just hauled well, ass in there and yeah. just went to town. Yeah, there wasn't any hesitation, I, yeah. Or yeah. planning, or it was just kind of yeah. winged I mean, it. There was, a, there was a bit, but no, it was still like, it was all good. It felt good. The pacing okay. was pretty decent, I like and I liked all the character good. moments. Was it fun having Gray back? Yeah, um, yeah. I love I good love when we Gray. don't kill villains and they can come back. It's like we're probably not going to kill him again. He's going to get to come back again somehow. Gray can come back a thousand times, and every time I'm kind of hoping he breaks out. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that he escapes, or at some point we make a trade. That's because like Rasper, I think he's kind of gotten past it now. It's been a while. I also sense. I feel like there's like this thing between Rasper and Gray where they're like both. It's like the other one in like an instance. Well, in an instant, the other one could be in the other's position. Mm -hmm. So I feel that there is sort of like a, they know that the tables could turn at any moment and then Rasper could be under Gray's power. They're both selfish in their own rights. I think Gray- I think they understand each other. I I think there is there. I I, I feel that Gray would be somebody that would, would otherwise be Rasper's 
you know, companion in crime if mm -hmm. not for the fact that you betrayed him. Like, if that wasn't there, then they would be... Oh, sure. Or if Rasper, if Rasper... They would be best friends if Rasper was in on the coup. Oh, yeah. He was just on the wrong end of it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, like, just like in this, you know, they were just on the wrong end of this conflict, and they were on the wrong end of the the oh. Easter... So now we need, at some point, Garay's goals need to align with us so that Rasper and Garay can team up. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, they kind of already do, because he also wants all of you Gone. The heel, t heel turn face. Uh -huh. It's redemption is powerful, <laughs> especially when then you undo the redemption with more betrayal. Yeah. Oh man, Ooh. foreshadowing. And the longer the longer we go on for, the more fun, like the more history and like that's where you get these campaigns that have gone on for you know people talk about their twenty year campaigns, mm -hmm. and it's like just I don't know I don't know if I want to be doing this when I'm a hundred, but. Maybe yeah. not threshold, but Are you well, that's 80? when we chain. <laughs> I'm already eighty. We'll, we'll chain you to a block of stone in the basement. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah. Steven, yeah, tell us what too. we do next. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I probably will do this until I'm a million. Um, anything else? I think that's yeah. it. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We're gonna see you next week, um, episode twenty-one for uh, the aqueducts. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, follow us on, on the tweet box. Uh, turn my faces into GIFs. And turn their faces into GIFs. I want to see some other GIFs. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh